Hi, it's Teardown Time. This is the brand spanking new, just released Fleur ETS 320 thermal imaging camera, 320 by 240 screen resolution, three inch screen. I've done a review on this, so if you want to have a look at that, it'll be up in the card somewhere up there. But we don't want to do that today. We want to tear it apart. Let's go. I see some screws on the top. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we've got four screws and there were a whole bunch of little plastic retainer clips and hopefully nothing... Uh, yeah, I, we're almost in like Flynn, except for the bloody LCD ribbon cable. Urgh, bugger. Okay, what's... I'll get back to you. We're almost in like Flynn, but um, I do not like this at all. This ribbon cable had no reach to go, I don't know how I'm going to get that back in. I honestly don't know. Um, that is really bizarre. Um, like, as it, like, I might have to, no, oh, actually, does that, I have that, that, that unclips. Okay, I think that front panel might unclip from there. I was going to say I might have to uh, get the heat gun out and, you know, that might be the final step or something like that. So, yeah, but with the plastic there, you can't, do it. There's our 18650 um, internal uh, rechargeable battery. This is interesting. We've got micro USB. Look at that. Going over to that's a that's some die. Is that a diecast alloy or a magnesium alloy shell on there? Uh, that's probably it's probably diecast. Is it for uh, that'd be for thermal? That'd be for thermal thermal mass reasons. And they've got these uh, copper straps all over the place. And you can see the copper backing on the LCD as well. Another copper uh, shielding sort of plate going over there, making contact. That, that's making contact to the front there. So they're really serious about the uh, uh, RFI in this thing. Wow, they're going to town. All right, this <laughs> was really tricky, um, but it did come out as one module. RFI bead on there, look at that. Woo, going to town. Anyway, it did come out as one module. There's our USB, which comes from here over to here. Wow, they couldn't even design, like, uh, it to interface. Look at the copper shielding over that as well. It, you know, it's all a bit, oh, it's not really how you're doing, but it's, you know, it's getting there. Anyway, we have the module. All comes out in, you know, little plastic, yellow plastic retaining hook. And, of course, it's all in one big uh, die-cast alloy thing, as I said, for uh, thermal mass reasons. You expect that. Um, but, yeah, it's certainly over-engineered. And that is our main board. We can see we've got our battery back up there, it's got a, well, presumably it's got a uh, real-time clock, bootloader 16.5 for those playing log at home, wind bond, all right, so we've got some SD RAM there, we've got our ROM, some more memory over here, so that means the processor is tucked away inside, and for those hacking, I don't know, there's lots of test points here, one of those could be a uh, debug Serial interface, of course. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to probe around. I'm not uh, too interested in hacking this thing, um, as long as it gives me the focal length I want, uh, because, like, there's no extra model to hack up. So there's no real incentive to go in there and hack it unless maybe you wanted a higher frame rate or you wanted to repurpose it for uh, something else. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother in that respect. Tell you what, this is one complicated ass assembly, but I am quite impressed by uh, whoever did all the uh, 3D envelope design and uh, all the systems integration on this. But um, check out, just wanted to mention this. We've got a, a slot around the PCB like that. There's something there. I reckon that could be some isolation for a uh, temperature sensor, perhaps. Hmm. And there's our sensor down in there on its own little board with its own uh, thermal. Is it? Th no, it'd be thermally coupled through to the aluminium uh, case there. So that's our board-to-board -board interconnect, which then goes directly onto there into the uh, 
FPGA and does all the whiz bang processing. So let's see if we can get that module out and have a look. It's just going to be, it's got, not going to be a new sensor in here. It's just one of their leptons or whatever their latest generation uh, 320 by 240 sensor is. There is the back of that. It's upside down, so all the electrons are going to fall out. And that. And I won't take this apart further, but there is going to be the uh, shutter down in there, the red and black wire going down in there. That'd be the calibration shutter, which comes across and closes that. And you can see the little uh, germanium, probably germanium uh, lens in there. I said it before, I really do like how all this goes together. This has got this self-tapping uh, points, this plastic holder that sort of holds that in there. But that's, it all goes together rather brilliantly, if a bit, you know, the first time you try and take it apart, seems a bit convoluted, but there's definitely method to the madness in this. And if you're wondering, yep, that temperature sensor there goes down in that little hole down in there. So it's measuring the, uh, the chassis uh, temperature. So that makes sense. So let's have a look at this under the Tagano microscope. There's not too much interesting on that side, but here's the money shot. Here's what everyone wants to see. So let's go in there. And there we go. We've got a uh, free scale uh, thingamabob arm thingy. And uh, here's your Cyclone 4 FPGA. That'd be a JTAGy type stuff. And uh, oh! Look at this, load on off. So that's your, uh, is that your load for your uh, FPGA? Perhaps? That'd be, that'd be my guess. Anyway, that cool looking jazzy down in the corner there. Oh, dialogue semi, okay. That's the, um, you can tell by all the inductors and all the caps, that's a uh, multi-core voltage chip. And we've got, that doesn't connect to anything. So like inside the camera. So that's obviously a uh, some sort of programming slash debug uh, interface. And like I suggested, that is isolated up there. That's isolated for thermal and uh, vibration reasons. So it's either a voltage reference or a temperature sensor. Take your pick. I don't know. What's a T730 on a 6-pin uh, SOT23 package? David's over there busily trying to get that up on his phone. Jesus. Another header there, which doesn't seem to be doing much. So there you go. That's about all she wrote on that board for those playing along at home. But as I said, you probably don't want to hack this thing. All right. I think you're going to want to see this under the Tagano. Got our test pads there. So there's our... That was not our sensor. That is a lens, once again, that could be a some sort of, uh, you know, germanium type lens. And there it is. You can see the lens stuck to the bottom down there, but that is our sensor. Try not to spit when you're talking, Dave. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. There's a 320 by 240 array. How close can I get? That's as close as I can get. There we go. You can see all the traces. You can see the bond wires going over. Very neat. This is the maximum zoom on the Tagano. It's not a... Uh, I mean, the Tagano is a microscope, but it's not a die microscope. But you can see the various layers there on the die. That's fantastic. And, oh, there's the text. There's the text. ISC 090180. From 2009. Copyright 2009. There you go. So that is not a new sensor. That is 2009 vintage. Thank you very much. And this the. Oh no. They've just etched away all the copper on top. I thought it might have been some special substrate board or something. It's not. That's just your regular woven fiberglass but there you go there's the sensor isn't that groovy woohoo i love the Tagano microscope it's great and i'm getting this sort of zoom level at th at what 300 millimeters working distance i mean that's just that's just nuts that's great
That actually went together much nicer than it came apart. I would, I'm actually impressed by that. I still think it's over-engineered in terms of uh, physical complexity, but it's still pretty impressive. Nothing you can't fix with a 100-degree air gun. There you go, that just uh, came off. And the shielding they've got everywhere on this thing is just absolutely crazy. So that's got full copper shielding right around. <laughs> Wow, gilding the lily. So here's how the mongrels have assembled this. It was physically impossible while for this to be an assembly and get that ribbon cable back in there. Absolutely impossible. So what you do is now we can get in there and we can just, you know, insert that. No worries, right? It's a little bit tight, but no worries. We can get in there and do that. And once it's done, then that goes, oh, we can take that off. And then that goes through there at an angle like that. Look at that. Mongrels. And then they glue on the metal and then they glue on the faceplate. Unbelievable. LCD part number for those playing along at home. I think we have a winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> you know, it's doing something anyway. Oh man, this is really some evil piece of work, let me tell you. Put that over the, over the back of that without putting stress on the ribbon cable, and then that's got to go back in there, and then that's got to fold under there like that. I should just ditch this bloody copper. Who cares about the? Ah, oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> I think we got it. We got it. And then that. Clean the screen first, oh, that's pretty clean. And that will go back on the front and uh, Bob's your uncle. He is my uncle. And we did it, yay. Ta-da, it's like I bought one. It's back and it works again. Oh, by the way, and one of the other things is you might be able to see here, you can see my fingers on the screen, yet I am nowhere near the sensor at all. Like my fingers are not under the sensor. What it's doing is getting, even if I hold my hand on top here, you might be able to, oh, calibration, you might see it come through maybe. It's getting reflection um, off there. So if you've any, got anything nearby, it can actually reflect off there. But you saw a menu option in there to get the, um, the heat reflected uh, setting on that. But yeah, just be careful. So that was a rather interesting teardown. Um, a very nicely designed and engineered, as you'd expect. Um, but yeah, the stand leaves a little bit, to, you know, it's a bit how you're doing the stand, I don't know, a bit cheap. Kind of lets it down a bit, but uh, yeah, that's an interesting bit of kit. If you want to uh, discuss it, EV Blog Forum down below somewhere. As always, catch you next time.